uh, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman, and um, today we're continuing on in Canestia. I don't know the name of where we're going to be going, but um, I feel like heading to the south. So we've mapped um, out this entire entry area, filling up the entire auto map, which um, I don't normally show. Oh look, there's a there's that one spot we haven't been. The map knows that, that we haven't been there too because it's an anti-magic spot and that wastes spell points. And I just haven't bothered to step on it yet. So I guess I'll go do that right now on my way to this door on the south. Now, I'm mapping this area a little bit differently from the others. Um, you can see that I'm clearly putting doors to the other regions, rather than making new maps. And that's because I'm cheating, basically. I kind of already know something about this world, and this is just going to be the most convenient way to map it out. No, I, I don't need to fight a... Silver droid, silver droid. So we just went over here, and we're gonna take the passage, which I've shown as a door, because in practice there's another adjacent region. Now that other adjacent region has its own coordinates, which is. Oh, let me... Well... For now, I'm gonna just use the basic color. For example, this one uh, extends to the south and, and west. So if I ask where I am, it tells me I'm at the exit. So it's kind of like being on independent map, but yet the independent maps are all positioned to form one larger coherent map. So I'm going to draw it that way. I don't know how to label it super well, but I'll worry about that later. I'm looking for the message icon. Typing this up. So, uh, I, I, I really don't need to say so at the start of saying things. I'm just so used to it. Anyway, uh, here's what the message we have. Despite the smoke choking the passageway, you see, nailed to the walls, battle standards of dwarven battalions. Many have been torn and defaced, but they still hang in the barracks entrance. So this, to me, indicates this area of the castle is still under Dwarven control. Or probably is still? I don't know if robots really care about battle standards. Would they tear them down? I guess I can tell there's a trap on the wraparound, but... I don't... Not motivated to count how wide this is. I'll find out later. Huh. Was there a message about silence ahead that I just didn't pay attention to? No. That makes me think that somehow my sorcerer's sight spell fell off. Okay, so, indeed, there is an odd square right here to mess up my sorcerer's sight. Anyway, looking to the west, I can see walls here, and then I think... Oh, I, I, I've set my... I was using this 
dotted line to indicate the boundary between um, between uh, maps. So that's my current setting, and now that I've managed to fill out where I think the boundary will be, I can go back to the normal door indicator. Ooh, one brass clanker. So I guess my theory that this region was going to be run by dwarves and there might not be robots here. Looks false. Maybe there are fewer robots or mechanicals or whatever they are. Or it's sort of theoretically dwarven controlled in the story, but I'm still going to encounter mechanicals. Don't really know yet. Okay, so this is this is definitely still a silent square. Kind of thought it was. I think the next few steps are going to be. And we have alternating doors. Okay, so no silence here. The door alternation continues. I kind of don't know exactly what's going on at the end of the corridor. I can't read this that well. That's fine. I'm stepping back into the silence to check north and south. But there's nothing there. Okay, so facing north, there are two doors. love their two by two rooms it seems hmm this one feels mark more worth m marking this odd location maybe over there I just really don't like stepping on odds by accident and then having a lot of incorrect inferences about about the map level. Still don't know the, if the size is right. But... This just feels right to have it end over there. I'm kind of hoping that's what the map design did do. Okay, and here we have hit point drain. So I'm betting there's going to be hit drain, point drain all around over here. Hey, you interrupted my mapping. Fight. Uh, attack, attack. Kill, overture, hide, defend, defend. What do you do, Ratchet Reaver? You advance. And repel my spells. That's what you do. And you turn to stone. That is a very small amount of experience points compared to what I'm used to. Oh, I, for, I keep collecting these thieves darts. I have not yet tried one out. Okay, so uh, I see a wall on the left, and then two doors facing each other, then a door on the north, and then a door on the south. Not quite sure what I see at the end on the north, but whatever. Okay, uh, continuing 
north from here, we got another hit point drain. Going into the closet. I don't know. Is the is the odd here? Or is it on the wraparound? Yeah, it's um it's right here. So this this particular map just started me out with screw you odd squares. So uh, there's no way I would have, you know, detected them without just having to figure it out over time. It's kind of a jerk move. I did not notice whether there was a hit point terrain where I'm right standing right now. I suppose I'll find out when I start turning around to look at stuff. Nope. So going north, I bet this is going to be a closet. Oh, it's a monster closet. And I'll be right back. So something I forgot to... I keep forgetting to show off my items, or at least try them out. On recording. I've done a little bit of trying items off camera that's mainly just use, does it do anything, step on anti-magic squares to like turn off all my buffs, use, that sort of thing. It's really dull. So I haven't been motivated to try to capture it. Okay, so here's a big fight. And I'm going to show off some of the items I have found a good use for that I'm excited about, or at least um, for now. I mean, I don't know if I'll be extended excited, but for now they are become new standards. So my fighters have both picked up Shade Lances, which I'm going to use on these Chain Vipers. And Shade Lances seem to be infinite use uh, Night Lance spells for... Warriors, Paladins, I forget, maybe Hunters? I don't know, I don't have a Hunter. I'm going to try out this Thief Dagger on a Brass Clanker. Uh, is there any need for you to do anything? I'm going to say no. I'm going to drop an Invisibility to get hit a little less. And use my Master One Night Lance on the group of brass clankers. Oh, and look at that wonderful everyone's being poisoned. It's okay, it's fixable. They're just taking a lot of damage. So here's one of the Night Lances. They're actually kind of interchangeable. But the net result is, uh, if there isn't something better for my fighters to do, which is kind of often the case when enemies start up far away and are advancing, um, I can get off three free Night Lances per round with using no spell points. Night Lances are no longer the powerhouse spell they used to be, so this is less exciting than it might have been in the past. But it's still nice. It helps wear down enemies, especially before they've gotten close. Okay, so uh, Griselda should do restoration for all these poisons and damage we've just taken. Elena may actually die. We'll see. Uh, and um, Lillian... You can use a master wand on the second, the first group of clankers. My bards also become, of course, so in addition to all those night lances I get to cast for no spell points, 
Oh, look, and there's Elena going down all the way dead. But in addition to all those night lances, of course, there's still Keel's Overture in the background, which does a baseline of like 500 damage per target in the entire combat per round. I don't know if you can stay hidden in showers, shadows while you're dead. That would be an interesting experiment. So we have traps to the east and the west, which makes me wonder if there's a trap here. Like, is every door that you enter from the south actually trapped? I have to reorganize my party to get Elena back in the front line, or more pointedly, to get my casters out of the front line. definitely a trap over here, and I probably should put down these walls at this point. Hmm. A maze of twisty closets. through this southern door, to which I assume is going to be another closet. Seems like it. traps to the east. They're going to want to go over there soon. So I've successfully run Lillian out of spell points. I'm starting to feel like there's no way I'm going to be able to cast spells fast enough, which is probably partly a product of um, having more spell point regen with the uh, familiar, familiar figurines. Oh, I actually went over here. I just forgot to mark it on the map. Um, Presumably nothing is here. Oh, and I didn't even notice, but um, 
This area is actually clearly labeled. We're in the barracks. Option. I don't know where I'm gonna put the word. Let's start with it here. on this side is wrong. Where is that flower? Oh, here you are. Uh, it's actually, we're detecting it over on this side. So all three slots in that entry passageway were Cancelers of sorcerer site. Oh well. I wish I had a better way to identify the spinner here. I mean, I guess I'll eventually find a better way, but I meant immediately, conveniently available. shaped space. Oh, and it's spell point drains all over now that I'm actually paying attention. certainly help with my terrible too many spell points problem. Gems didn't end up being like something you just um, carry abstractly, like money. Because they end up being like the majority of my inventory, and then I have to uh, start choosing to use gems more often or choosing to drop them. Oh well. wall comes in here. Okay, so I can still detect quiet, which I think means odd has not happened. I haven't lost my sec my second sight, or hasn't been reduced. back into the uh, drain to check whether there was a spinner here. So there isn't one here, and there isn't one here. But I can check see one facing south uh, from that spinner, which makes me pretty sure it's here. Yes. So if I 
step forward, yeah, I can no longer sense the spinner. Because I'm standing on it. There's a trap, something like this. Could be here, could be here. Darkness hallway. Well, I managed to prove that there was indeed a trap here by setting it off. trap somewhere further east probably the next um, the next closet I guess I could be flashing this after every step and in Bard's Tale 1 I would do that but somehow I'm tired of it now I just wanted to like stay on the screen longer here, and sure enough, there were two more darkness squares along the way. Oh, we were standing on a trap all that time, which I kind of thought we were, but I was waiting until it, uh, I don't know. I, I, maybe I just really forgot about it, and I'm making excuses. Pressing into this wall here, which is why the darkness stacks up like that. From this location, um, what can we see? So incidentally, I guess we did get confirmation that this is how wide this area is lining up with this edge here. I doubt it's required to line up. And if I cast Scry Sight, it says I'm four south and three west, which is not surprising. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Um, but it does mean I would like to start. labeling the coordinates. I have such trouble with the way that the labeling works in this GUI. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> there it is again. I'll put it in the wrong place and move it. One, two, three, four, five. So this um, area is 12 wide, and probably 12 tall too. We'll find out in a bit whether that was a accurate guess. that door presents us with the wall and more walls and ooh, a little a little uh, dead end to wander into
This lack of detecting anything is making me worried I stepped on an odd square, but no. From here, we can detect various things. Trap in a spinner. And from here, we can only detect the spinner. So, the trap is definitely here. Whereas the spinner is in one of these two spots. Spell point drain. And this is a trivial fight. See, that was one kill worth 5,700 experience points. That seems like, um, more like what I expect. Yep, just a long dead end L shape of all spell point drain. Why not? Time for more gems. Down here is something... Oh, no, I could be wrapping around to detect... No? There's nothing special here. So what is that something detecting, detecting? Okay, so north-south is a lot further than 12. Maybe more like 20. Well, we'll find out. something there for the moment. Oof. So that's not right. Why do I see two greens? I think I'm seeing this wall door and then this door. Okay, that that is not how I thought I should interpret that, but I guess that's that is correct. I didn't... I, somehow I thought the barracks were typically, you know, open... open design to pack in as many people as possible. These barracks feel like 
They're more like a series of tiny closets. Yeah, yeah, you can poison. I get the message. You think you're such hot stuff. I killed one of you, so take that. Why do I... I'm casting Archmage Bells on a Chronomancer. Got Chronomancer Spells on an Archmage. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe there's a more intuitive interface that could exist for this casting system. Mostly I just forget which number is which, and I think, oh, right, five, that's my healer, and then no, it's not. Tongue Shield. I think I have upgraded my shields fully. Yeah, Kriznak has a Tongue Shield already, and I think so does Lady Oaken Shield. And further, I don't think Chantrell or Lena can use tongue shields. And their inventory is full anyway. What is it full of? Gems. Oh, this death drum. Maybe I should keep it around? I don't know. It's a death strike ability, which can definitely come in handy. But I just feel like my bard always has something better to do, like heals overture or lower the armor classes with safe sanctuary score, I think it's called. Or if not that, then Crap, the healing song, whatever it's called. Oh, Bards can use tongue shields. Okay, I'll go ahead and equip this tongue shield and put my Bard at truly redonkulous armor class. Minus 41. nonsense items my oh I filled up her inventory with these darts can you wear a diamond shield Miss Elena no you cannot discard Okay, so we got a little bit of a shield upgrade there. Feels like my hand's being forced into having my bar be my most armored individual. I wonder how I know the about where these doors are here. Maybe I cast a light spell briefly in the dark and the auto map just or maybe the auto map just cheats and is like, oh, I'm going to look even though it's dark. I 
Somehow I feel like these these little nooks whoops are supposed to be the barracks. Because, you know, they're kind of barren and repetitive. Oh, at some point my bard songs have gone up to twelve point effectiveness. I didn't notice. So if I sing a healing song, people will get 12 hit points per turn for each time it's sung. Or if I sing the armor class song, my hit points, or armor class, is improved. In other words, it goes down by 12 points. I don't know if those incremental improvements to bard songs really keep them you know, f efficacy competitive with my other characters, but I do like them. So what I actually just did there, which is really hard to see because the compass fell off, they turned north, bumped into this wall, and went south out of the darkness, which this is still darkness, and then walked back in. Because the other map was telling me there's no wall here, and I didn't really trust it, so I checked it myself. And my distrust was in error. Or at least, I don't know. I don't know what else to say there. Now we're at this location, looking north. All those are correct. If we look to the west, we get told about a spinner. We're basically looking at a dead end. We didn't find any spinner over there. So probably there's actually a spinner in front of us. Uh, south is a wall. East, we can see this bit is novel. The rest is non-novel. This is a spinner the end of this little dead end. That's very cute. Come into this dead end and never leave again. And that's about long enough for me for this particular session. We've made some progress mapping out the barracks. Uh, I'm pretty uncertain what the importance of these barracks are because so far all I've found in them are more robots that are trying to kill me. But maybe down in the south somewhere there'll be more uh, significant encounters to be had. Or maybe not. And maybe all I'm really doing is eliminating uninteresting locations from the Mechanestia map to eventually find the more interesting ones. Right now I don't really have any sense of a goal or what I'm trying to achieve here beyond find stuff. But that is sort of an interesting goal. I'm really artificially I, I really have my art, uh, interest artificially reduced in this particular level because um, there's so much just wandering around to find stuff 
And I happen to remember how it works. Not all, the, not all, all the dimensions do I remember the details, and this one I unfortunately do. So that's kind of sapping my interest a bit. But uh, that was uh, a partial mapping of the dwarven barracks, and I think next time we'll probably finish mapping them and see if there's anything exciting to find. Uh, see you then. Bye.